friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today we're gonna do another multi-palette bingo. I'm excited to do this one because I haven't done a multi-palette bingo with this brand in a long time. Like they only had two palettes back then. Now they have three and they have a bunch of singles that I could have included the first time, but I just didn't. But now I want to because I want to utilize my singles. That is my goal this year is to utilize my singles. I'll have my single shadow collection and declutter coming soonish. I think I might film that today, so hopefully soonish that'll be up. And yeah, regardless, let's just get into it. We are playing with Shroud Cosmetics today, formerly Strobe Cosmetics. I adore this brand with my whole heart. I've loved them since I first started trying their products. I've fallen head over heels for just everything they do. I became an affiliate with them quite recently and I still can't believe it because it means the world to me to be a part of this journey with this brand that I love so very dearly. You can use my code BUTBEAN, it does save you 10%. I do make a small commission if you use my code and I appreciate it very much, but absolutely no pressure if you do not want to buy anything. Only use it if you feel like it. All right, anyways. For my palette bingo, they have three palettes and they have kind of two sets of singles. They have their original single single shadow collection and they also have their new Moonwell trio. So I figured I would do a random shadow from each of those five kind of things. So we'll have five shadows total. Let's talk about the palettes. Creepy Cute is the first palette that came out that is still permanent. I know they had some things in the past, but this is the first permanent palette. It looks like this. I have put such a dent in this palette. Void is literally my favorite black. All of these shadows you can buy individually as well as far as this palette goes. The other ones, I don't think those are singles are available as singles, <laughs> but all of these in this palette you can buy as singles. Strawberry Milk I'm actually wearing as my blush today. It's one of the cutest shadows to use as blush. I will have an eyeshadows for blush video coming soon. Void is my favorite black of all time. These pastels are just so beautiful and they pack such a vibrant punch while still remaining pastel. I adore this palette so, so much. The second one is called Divinity. I do believe this one's getting discontinued, but the palette is still available as of right now. This one is very, I don't know, it's got those murky, grungy tones. I really love this Kates shade. Love Milda, Bastet. There are so many beautiful tones on this palette. I have absolutely loved creating looks with it. You can see how dingy it is. I've gotten some love out of this one as well. The most recent palette is the Arcana. This came out a few months back. And man, oh man, I love this. It's grungy, jewel-toned goodness. I love the variety of mattes versus shimmers on this palette. It's evenly divided with that. I feel like the tones just complement each other so well. The green and the pink are absolutely the most stunning jewel-toned shimmers ever. I love this palette. Now jumping into the singles that I have, this little row right here, all these colorful ones, are their original single shadow collection, so I am gonna randomly generate one of those. I will probably just number it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just kind of go along the rainbow. That's how my number will be. And then down here is the Moonwell Trio. This came out with the Arcana collection or maybe a week after. It came out right around the same time. And I just have these in alphabetical order, so I'll just number them one, two, three. We'll draw one of those as well. These ones are a newer formula. I'm not positive that this formula is what's in the Arcana palette. I think this one is just like a brand new shimmer formula and it is to die for. They are so just wet and beautiful. Ooh. I love those singles and I'm really excited to play with some of these because again, I don't reach for my singles too often, but I really, really, really want to. So let's just generate some numbers. Why not? We are gonna go in the order that I explained everything and then we will have five shades to work with. All right, in my Creepy Cute palette, there are eight shades. So I have it one to eight. We got number one. Okay, very easy. <laughs> we got the shade Tombstone, which is that gray. I'm just gonna pop that one right here. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit just for the sake of you being able to see it on a swatch because this is a pastel palette, you know? In my Divinity palette, we got number eight. So we got the last one. We got the shade Freya. I'm really glad that we've gotten mattes. I knew we'd get a matte in the Creepy Cute, but since there are gonna be two shimmer singles later, I wanted to make sure that we'd have some mattes. So that's where we're at so far, deep and grungy. By the way, I have Hather, this shadow, as my highlight today, and it's so pretty. In the Arcana, we have 12 shades, so I reset that. So we got number four. <gasps> Yay, we got one of the shimmers that I love. We got the shade Alchemy. Ugh, this green shimmer steals my soul. It's so pretty. Mmm. It's looking like grungy Christmas up in here. All right, with those original singles, we got number six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I love this shadow. What are you even called? Enigma. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. 
This is gonna be beautiful. And now finally one through three for that Moonwell Trio. Is it called Moonwell Trio, Moonfall Trio? Dang, I don't remember. Moon something trio. We got number three. So we're gonna be using that beautiful purple down here, which I can't remember the name of it. It's called Soul Stone. And by the way, the pan size is a little bit different. I'm sure you could see that before. The Enigma one is 2.5 grams. The Soul Stone one is 1.5, just so you know the pan difference. I feel like Soul Stone is more like a traditional pan size. Oh, that's what we're working with, guys. What do you think? Man, I think this is gonna be beautiful. I'm not sure exactly what vibe I'm gonna do, but I feel like I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna have like Freya really smoked out in the crease, blended out with Tombstone. We're most likely gonna do some half cut creasey things just so I can really make all these pop. I'll probably cut it with this and have it fade down into this one and probably pop the green on the lower lash line. But who knows, by the time I get you guys zoomed in and prime my eyes, I might change my mind. So. We will just have to see. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, hello again. <laughs> I'm gonna start by swirling Tombstone all through the crease from the Creepy Cute palette. I'm just gonna use this Alamar Cosmetics fluffy brush that has a cat hair on it. Story of my life. And this is just gonna go all through my crease. I loved the look I created with my last multi palette bingo with just the Divinity and the Creepy Cute. That was such a beautiful look. It was so bright and green and lovely. I loved that look. I've done so many palette bingos. How many palette bingos have I even done? Probably a hundred. <laughs> Not quite, but definitely a lot. All right, <laughs> first shades laid down. I'm in just like such a giddy mood. I love playing with this brand. I'm gonna take Freya now, and I'm just gonna take this pointed eye pencil brush from e.l.f. and mostly gonna focus that out here in the outer corner, and then just kind of carry it through the crease lightly, but I mostly want this shade to really pop in the outer corner. I really like the way this red and that gray kind of look next to each other. I think that's pretty. I wasn't quite sure how that would work. Just figured I'd wing it and see what happens. I'm gonna pop a little bit under the lower lash line as well. Not gonna go ham with it because I do still think I'm gonna pop that green down there and I don't want the green and red to do weird things to each other because they're complementary. So not going as wild with the lower lash line. And now I'm taking that fluffy brush again and just using that to buff and blend this, these shadows, you know? I think I need a smaller brush to really pack tombstone against the lower lashes. Sometimes my eyes have a hard time getting that shadow to really stick if I'm having like, I don't know. Just one of those days. This brush, by the way, is a Lexi 141. Just gonna lightly blend, but I don't wanna do too much where it's gonna sweep it all away. This is looking really cute and grungy. I am a fan of that. All right, let's cut some crease. Why not? Gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer and the Spectrum A16 flat brush. I'm going to put a little dot of it on the brush and I'm going to run this Cross my lid and then just kind of take this right above my natural crease and carry it all the way across and just stop it right where those shades are really deepening in the outer corner. And now I'm gonna take Enigma, the, can't pick it up, <laughs> this single, and I'm just gonna pop that on the exact same brush just so I don't have to waste brushes, you know? And I'm going to take that right at the edge of my cut how beautiful that shadow is. I also want this to go pretty heavy in the inner corner, but I want it to thin out as I get to the upper part, creating almost like a diagonal with this shadow. Man, this is gonna look so pretty with that uh, purple next to it, I can't wait. And now just flipping that brush over, I'm gonna dip into that purple from that trio. My hands are so full, so I'm not gonna pick it up again, but you know the purple, the Soul Stone shade. Oof, look how beautiful. I can't wait to see what else this brand does this year. I'm so stoked. Look how pretty that blue and purple look next to each other. It's so good. Just gonna drag these together. Just kind of flipping back and forth between both sides of my brush until I like the flow of them. Ooh, look how stunning that is. I'm gonna take the brush I used with Freya. No additional product though. Just to lightly smudge this outer corner. I feel like that looks so magical. And now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Alchemy from the uh, Arcana palette. I'm getting all my words mixed up. I'm just gonna use that same Luxie brush I used earlier. 
just gonna pop that right up against my lashes. Ooh, this is flowing into that gray so nicely. It's just giving it such a spooky shimmer kind of look. It looks really pretty. I'm just taking it all the way across because I'm not going ham with the shimmer. I just wanted it to be enough to really, I don't know, tie in with the, the gray. Oh guys, this is so pretty and that was so simple. I mean, obviously it takes five palettes or three palettes and two shadows to do it, but super pretty. Typically in a palette bingo, when I don't get an inner corner shade, I just use my face highlight. So I'm just going to use Hather because that's what I use as my face highlight. And I'm going to pop that in my inner corner because I can't live without a face highlight. I used to really commit to the palette bingo when I first started doing these and I would use one of these shades as my inner corner. But you know... I just, I want it to look like a complete look, you know what I mean? And sometimes, like, these shimmers, for instance, I feel like are just way too deep for me to pull off as an inner corner. For me, personally. Wow, I love that. That combo across the lid is just making my heart swirl. It's so pretty. And playing with those is making me really excited to film my single shadow collection and declutter. Not feeling as nervous about it. So, yeah. I'm going to repeat this on the other eye. Throw all my lashes, lips, all that good stuff, and we will chat about those details when I get back. All right, I am back complete. I'm obsessed with this look. I think it's so pretty. I just love the way those shimmers mesh together on my lid. I just feel like it's so pretty and cohesive of a look, but also still colorful and unique. I don't know, the palette bingo gods were really on my side today, and I really like it. My eye pencil is Black Olive from NYX. My lashes are still Mega Babe from Bold Face Makeup. And on my lips, I went with Basic B from Pop Beauty. I just wanted something kind of cool toned to go with this look. And I love how it looks complete. I'm so into this. What do you guys think? What is your favorite thing from Shroud Cosmetics? Mine, hands down, is the Creepy Cute palette. I feel like this is just the best pastel palette, hands down. Can't be beat, never will be beat. I love the Creepy Cute palette. And really, I love everything I've tried from them. I can't think of anything that I was like, no, that didn't work. Everything's been pretty solid. I haven't tried absolutely everything that they've come out with, but I've tried most things, and I've bought most things. I have gotten sent some stuff, but I have bought most everything. I think the only things I've gotten sent are the single shadows that I showed you in this palette, and also a couple glitters. But all the palettes I bought myself, and I have bought some glitters myself as well. I thought about using one of the glitters in today's look, but this look is just so perfect on its own, I didn't feel like glitter was necessary. But anyways, let me know what your favorite product from Shroud Cosmetics is. I would love to hear it. If you made it to the end, leave me a plant emoji. Not a flower, but a plant, like a tree or leaves, something like that. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.